Hey guys, what's up? Jack here. Um, I wanted to do a little YouTube video and show you guys my workspace. So I call this my office or, you know, my workroom. This is where I do all of my practice. Uh, I teach lessons on Skype here. I, um, I get inspired and do my, I write my music here. Um, I, I have Pro Tools set up right now with my speakers. I'll just kind of chill here and, uh, you know, maybe have some like animes or some video games on in the background and get really inspired and, and write music. Life Imitating Art was written, well, the solos were written and recorded in this room. Um, and also, I haven't done any gear rundowns with you guys yet, so I know some of you have been asking for rig rundowns and gear rundowns. Um, I recently just got some new gear from the awesome people at Gator Cases. Um, so I just kind of wanted to break down what I take with me on tour, um, what I, how I pack up my X effects and my rack stuff, and you know how I try, how I'm able to take my guitars on flights with me, and um, and stuff like that. So, all right, here we go. So let's get started. So, once again, thank you, get your cases. I really appreciate this. You guys are so awesome. So here is a soft, dual electric guitar case. Um, this thing is super light. Well, right now there's a guitar in there, but I take this with me to go teach. Um, just here around Vegas. There's a lot of space in the front. You know, I, I stick my laptop in here. I got strings in there. Um, plenty of space in here. Um, there's my uh, my Dean right there, one of my tellies, just chilling in there. Um, so I had one of these cases I took with me all around Japan. Well, I took it to Japan, China. It's been all around the U.S. with me. Um, I had to get a new one because I just used it so so much. I wanted a, I wanted a fresh one. Um, but these things are great. I take them on every flight with me. See, I've got my my in ears right here. It's probably kind of, probably kind of waxy. So you don't want to look at too close at that. Yeah, there's just a bunch of space in these. And really cool cases. Um, this one here is a little bit, a little bit more hardcore, a little bit more heavy duty. This is the Progo gig bag. See, this is brand new. I haven't even taken the cardboard off yet. Way more space in here at the front. Um, so you can put like a laptop. You know, there's like a space for tablets. Uh, sheet music, uh, iPods, whatever you need. Um, extra space up here, you know, guitar tuners, strings. So these things, like, these things are heavy duty. You know, you can beat the hell out of these things and they'll be, they'll be fine. So this is likely what I'm gonna be taking on my next tour. I'm heading out with Angel Vivaldi, uh, Angel Vivaldi and Nita Strauss. Uh, this month, I'm leaving like two weeks. Um, so we'll probably have a trailer on the back of a bus because I'm sharing a bus with those guys. So I'll have my guitars in there. Um, obviously you don't want to eat that, um, even though they are delicious. Um, so you got a little neck support for your guitars right here, stuck on the Velcro. Really, really soft interior. Um, so you can have these in the trailer or if you're on tour or in the, you know, the back of your van, it's not really going to get that beaten up. You know, they're really, they're really durable. They can endure a lot. So here's the other case right there. Um, so, don't mind the scribbling on the wall too. These are just, uh, where I was working on my, working on life imitating art. You know, I wrote down the song here. I wrote sent when I sent sent it to the producer Charles Massaboy to for mixing. Um, I did a big red tick when I finished the song, um, and when I finished transcribing it, I X'd it out. I'm actually done with that. Like the amount of work that took me was insane, but I'm finally done with that. So I'm gonna rip that off my wall scene. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna celebrate and do it right now, because so we can document this. This was so much work. I don't even want to throw it away. That's so much work. Um, just got like a goals list here, YouTube task list. Um, all right, so this down here, I just got my, just got some guitars here on a little rack that I like to keep at when I'm recording. It's just easy access. Like, okay, right here is my four unit, rack unit molded case. Um, these are really cool. Like when you're going through the airport and stuff like that, you can just hit this, it's got wheels and you can drag it along right here. I'm just going to open up one of these for you so you can see how I would set this up. Because these rack units are really cool. 
cool because I'll just take them on stage with me. So I haven't set this one up yet because it's, it's brand new, but I would have like my, my Furman um, power conditioner at the top so I can power all of my gear. I would have my uh, wireless unit so I don't have to be on a cable. I can just run around and, and run around stage and don't have to worry about being plugged in. Um, and right here I'd have my Axe Effect. So, you know, like this thing is, again, really heavy duty. You can have it in the trailer. It's not going to get too damaged. Um, but one last thing to show you guys. I have right, right here. Um, this is my soft full unit rack unit you know we've been we've been all over the world together um i have it i have uh, you can see my rack unit set up right here um just plug this on because you get the cool light obviously so this is kind of like the molded rack unit except this is a soft one you know it's really small i take this on flights with me you just zip it up stick it in the overhead and you know show up with your axe effects you may you may have seen me with this on stage um, I just roll this on stage with me. I don't use an amp or anything like that because I'm super lazy and I don't want to get a trailer. <laughs> Maybe in the future when when uh, when tour makes more money and I have like a, a bigger space or a trailer to put my gear, then I can bring this bad boy here too. But for now, you know, I'll just roll this around with me. Again, it has wheels. I've got the handle. Oh. Whoops. We got a handle that comes out the top here. Um, got my axe effects. In the bottom, I got my wireless right here, my Shure wireless, these things are great. Um, my Furman power conditioner at the top. That's everything I really need to play a show. I just have my foot pedal with me and I'll change sounds on here. This has all the effects I need in it. Um, again, in the top, there's a bunch of junk in there right now. I haven't emptied out since the last tour, but obviously I got my wireless pack and my strap, like a bunch of picks. Um, my spare strings, spare straps, my uh, in ear wireless pack, uh, everything that I need. Thank you again, Gator Cases. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for hooking me up with some gear. Um, you guys can head to the link in the description below. Go grab yourself some, uh, some of their gear. I really, really recommend it. You know, it's, it's never done me wrong. Like I said, I've taken it all over the world. Um, yeah, so whenever you, if you're looking for a gig bag, rack unit, they, you know, they make stuff for mixers, they, they make more heavy duty stuff. Um, they make stuff for, uh, like, I think they even make stuff for, like, DJ gear and stuff like that, if I saw correctly. Um, okay, so go click on the link below. Guys, I will be on tour next month with Angel Vivaldi and Nita Strauss. You know, I'm going to have this gear with me on stage. You know, you got to see it there. Um, I'm going to have the dates posted below in the description as well. Please subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Much love. Peace.